Hey guys, it's Lisa from the blog Farmhouseonboon.com where I like to share food from scratch, natural living, and a handmade home. And today I want to show you how to make yogurt in the Instant Pot. Yogurt has been something that I have been making slash been trying to make for the last 10 years. And I used to do it in a method where I would wrap the crock pot in towels and then I'd try where I'd put it in a styrofoam cooler. There was all kinds of ways to try to keep a constant temperature that the yogurt needed for multiple hours, eight plus hours. When I got the Instant Pot a little over a year ago, it kind of revolutionized the way I do yogurt. The Instant Pot has a yogurt setting. Now you wanna be sure that you actually get an Instant Pot that has the yogurt setting. I will link one in the description box below that has it because not all of them do. And to me, this is the coolest thing about the Instant Pot. I love it to make bone broth and whole chicken, things like that. But this is the best feature that I have found on this Instant Pot and a one reason that I would for sure keep it around forever. Now the reason is my family loves yogurt and we have a local farm where we can get milk at a good price, so $5 for a gallon of raw milk, and it is A2 certified. It's just good healthy milk, so I can make a half gallon of yogurt for $2.50. So it's a major cost savings, plus I can ferment it for as long as I want. This is gonna be a way to make it the regular way. I'm gonna do a future video on how to make it the raw way. There's actually quite a few differences that you need to do because raw milk yogurt won't set up and you have to use certain cultures and gelatin. So I'm gonna do that video later. This is gonna be if you don't have access to raw milk, you just have regular milk and you wanna make yogurt, I'm gonna show you today how to do that. Basically, the way yogurt is made is milk is left at 110 to 115 degrees for a certain amount of time with a starter culture. And then the probiotics that are in the starter culture take over the rest and inoculate it so that what's left is the entire thing is yogurt. So you can either use yogurt from a previous batch, which that is what I have here. These cultures can now be used to inoculate this. Now, if you're starting from the very beginning, you can either use store-bought yogurt and you can use some plain yogurt to make this, or you can buy a starter culture. I got this traditional starter culture off Cultures for Health. They have it on Amazon. I'll link it below, but you can use these packets and that's what has made this yogurt. So I don't need to use another packet right now. I can actually just go ahead and use the yogurt that I made with this because all the bacteria that are in this are now in here. First, we're gonna take a half gallon of milk and pour it in our Instant Pot and press the saute function. We need to bring this yogurt up to about 180 degrees. Now this is to kill any competing bacteria that are in the milk already, especially when it's raw milk. There could be bacteria that could compete with the yogurt cultures and so the taste might be a little off and it won't set up quite as well as if we didn't do this. So we're gonna bring it up to 180 degrees and I'm just gonna use this little thermometer. Then we're gonna let it cool back down to 115. Now after it's back down at 115, we can add the starter culture. Now if you add it before, it's going to kill the bacteria that are in there. Something I learned from experience. Instant pots come with this silicone gasket around the top and the reason for that is to allow it to come to pressure so that no steam escapes and the pressure can stay and build up inside the Instant Pot. But yogurt isn't a thing that needs to come to pressure. It's just staying at 115 degrees for the designated amount of time. This gasket, what I found, it holds the smell of whatever you're cooking. No matter how much you soak it and you know, I've laid it out in the sun, it still kind of retains the meat smell and one thing you don't want is meat flavored yogurt. Trust me, I've had it, it's not good. So you do not need this while you're fermenting yogurt. So I just kind of toss that aside and I will not be putting it in whenever I'm making yogurt. Okay, now that this milk has cooled back down to about 115 degrees, it's time to add the starter. So if you're starting from brand new and you don't have any plain yogurt or anything like that, you could definitely just use plain yogurt from the store. But you could also use a starter culture like I have here. So in this half gallon of milk, I'm gonna add about a quarter cup of plain yogurt to be the starter for this. Mm -hmm. 
just going to stir it around to incorporate it and the bacteria that's in here is now going to make this warm milk into yogurt. I'm going to press this yogurt button here and I'm going to set it for eight hours. Now, if you are on the GAPS diet or you're lactose intolerant and you need it to digest all the lactose before you consume it, you're going to want to do it for about 24 hours. That's the beauty of the Instant Pot. Whatever you set it to, it will keep the perfect temperature for yogurt the whole entire time. So you can make an entire gallon of yogurt in the six quart Instant Pot. So I'm gonna stir that in the starter, press the yogurt button, set it for eight hours, put that on without the gasket thing because that's what makes the smell and just set it back and let it sit for about eight hours. If, let's see, eight hours is actually kind of the middle of the night, so I'm probably gonna set this a little bit more. It'll just ferment longer, which is totally fine. More gut healthy probiotics. So it can go anywhere from six to 24 hours, depending on your sourness preference. Now, if I'm gonna make this just for smoothies. I do it a lot longer, like 24 hours, but for a bowl of yogurt that my kids wanna just eat with honey and blueberries and uh, granola, eight hours is about their sour tolerance max before they think that it needs to be blended in with some frozen bananas or something. So for bowls of yogurt, I do eight. And this is the consistency that you can expect to get. You can add something like gelatin or powdered milk to get it thicker, but this actually works just fine for a bowl of yogurt. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope I've inspired you to make some fermented foods in your Instant Pot. It's so simple and gut healthy and of course, more economical than store-bought yogurt. I, in this case, am making a half gallon of organic yogurt for $2.50, so you can't beat that at all. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. I make two new videos every week on food from scratch, natural living, and a handmade home. Also check out my other fermenting videos. I have some on how to make homemade milk kefir, as well as sauerkraut and sourdough. And I have a free ebook on my blog, which I'll link in the description below, the link to get it on our five favorite kefir smoothie recipes. If you're brand new to kefir and brand new to fermenting your own food, it's a great resource for that. So be sure to snag that up. Thank you so much for stopping by the farmhouse. Mm -hmm.